This week we've got the latest updates on Ori, we release the bees in Minecraft, and get behind the wheel of the 1998 Toyota Supra RZ in Forza Horizon 4. All that and more in This Week on Xbox. Now my war begins against the monster that created these monsters. Summon the beast! Crush them! And it's time to go hunting. In Gears Tactics, you're outnumbered and fighting for survival. Recruit and command your squad to hunt down an evil mastermind in this fast-paced, turn-based strategy game from the Gears of War franchise. Prepare your troops to face tough enemies, upgrading their skills and outfitting them with loot collected in challenging missions. And you just might be ready to take on the massive boss battles. Gears Tactics is coming April 28, 2020. like we planned it. What's going on everybody, Malik here. I am here inside of the Xbox offices where they obviously make a lot of games. And I'm here to talk about a very specific game, one that I am very excited about it is Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I'm super excited for it. Ori and, and the Blind Forest was one of my favorite games. And so we're gonna go and see if anyone's here to talk about the game, because I wanna know what's new with it. I hear there's some news. So let's, uh, let's see if somebody's here and uh, somebody's here. Turns out, Dan, and how are you? Malik, how are you? I am well, I'm well now that you're here. Uh, let's talk Ori, very excited for this, but before we jump in, who are you and what do you do? Uh, so, my name's Daniel Smith. I'm a senior producer on Ori and the Will of the Wisps. I've been working on Ori for quite some time. Let's see, I've been working with them for about eight years. So, uh, helped them ship uh, Blind Forest and then Definitive Edition, and now finally the, uh, the sequel. Ah, and you talk about working on it for a long time. Fans are super excited for the game, super excited for it to come out. Let's talk about what's new in the game. There's a lot of new things. Um, I think probably the most notable things that are, that are sort of big that I think people will just really capture and notice right away, the combat system. You've likely seen that Ori is now able to wield swords and shoot a bow and swing a hammer. And it goes deeper than that. I mean, uh, Ori now has a number of spells he can equip, a number of new abilities with some uh, favorites from the first game pulled in. This time around, we think that we're going to see a lot of variation. Ori can, you know, I, already, I like, I have personal favorite weapons I like uh, to use when I play the game. I have uh, personal favorite spells and abilities and shards. And especially the shard system, I think people are going to have favorite loadouts that they like. Uh, and so I'm, I'm pretty excited to see how people really engage with the game. Uh, the other thing is that in Blind Forest, we really emphasize the idea of boss fights with escape sequences. Um, mm -hmm. So if you recall, players you know, were able to fix things in the Jinzo tree, and then the water's rising, and then people are escaping really yeah. quickly. That was more or less kind of a, our boss fight. This time around, we thought, you know, let's, let's do like real boss fights. Mm -hmm. We love those escape sequences. They're still in there, but we added this extra layer of having these really epic grand bosses that you fight against. But let's also talk about um, what players are gonna be doing as they progress through the world, how they're gonna have a bit more uh, you know, ability to decide what they do. I love talking about this because um, it's a big game. It's gonna take people quite a bit more time to, to complete Will of the Wisps. And this time around, we're introducing a new quest system. So within the map, you can actually collect a, a number of different quests and then actually with a picker, decide which one you kind of wanna go after first and next. Not only that, but I mean, we, we're trying to raise the bar in every way we can with the sequel. You may have noticed visually, the game has taken a major upgrade. Uh, we're pretty excited about how the game is really looking and playing, and um, especially on Xbox One X, there are some enhancements. Ah, uh, you know, 4K UHD. Uh, it'll look gorgeous. It'll play gorgeous. What's in the collector's edition for those looking to take it to the next step? Yeah, I am so excited about this collector's edition. Probably the thing that I'm most excited about is, uh, you know, uh, Moon's composer Gareth Coker uh, worked hard to create an album of uh, piano collections music. 
and uh, you know, just to nerd out a little bit on this, like it was all recorded on a 1923 Steinway in Nashville. It sounds amazing. Like wow. I, I'm so excited. You know, the music was one of the most awarded aspects of Blind Forest, yeah. and and um, I really feel like uh, we're we're even raising the bar again in, in that aspect. Uh, and then you'll get a downloadable code for the uh, the full uh, orchestra soundtrack as well. The game will be available day and date on Xbox Game Pass. It'll also be available on Windows 10 PC and Steam. And you can pre-order now, and the game will be available on March 11th, 2020. Uh, we made a recent decision to push out an extra month. Uh, it's really critical that this game hits a level of quality that hopefully meets and exceeds fans' expectations of what really uh, Ori is all about, and I think it'll be well worth it. The, the game is just, it's gonna be fabulous. Oh, super excited. Dan, thank you so much for chatting with me. You're very welcome. And I am very excited for the game. I cannot wait, and I'm sure everybody else can either. Thanks for swinging by. Minecraft is buzzing! Now you can discover how bees breathe life into their surroundings with Xbox. Each area that bees improve offer countless gameplay opportunities, from sticky surfaces to flourishing farms. Hives can be harvested for honey, and honey becomes sugar. In Minecraft, as in real life, everything is connected in one harmonious cycle. And in both worlds, it all starts with the bees. Forza Horizon 4 just released The Eliminator, an all-new Battle Royale-inspired racing game mode free for all players. In The Eliminator, up to 72 players face off within an arena set in the open world of Britain, eliminating one another in head-to-head -head races to earn upgrades and a chance to pick up faster cars. In true Battle Royale fashion, arena walls contract throughout the game forcing players closer together until a final white-knuckle race among the survivors determines the winner. To stay ahead, look for car drops or win head-to-head -head player challenges. The Eliminator launches with its own mini-campaign and rewards for players to unlock, including the exclusive 2008 Renault Megane R26.R, the 2016 Porsche 911 GT3 RS Pre-Order Edition, and the 1970 Mercury Cougar Eliminator, as well as the Eliminator branded character clothing. And speaking of updates, Toyota is back. The 1998 Toyota Supra RZ is now available in Forza Horizon 4, and you can expect more Toyota and Lexus models to hit the streets in future updates. Here's a did you know for each game available with Xbox Game Pass. Demon's Tilt launched day one with console and PC last week. Link ramps to extend the chain meter's life, then use your chain meter to combo hits and keep your scoring momentum up. The indie physics hit Human Fall Flat hits PC today. Solo or co-op, this puzzler is full of fun and replayability. Age of Wonders Planetfall is now available for PC in addition to console. Check out all the different solo and online multiplayer modes to change up the gameplay. eFootball PES 2020 is replacing 2019 in the console library. It's realistic soccer and the 2020 edition was winner of the E3 Best Sports Game Award. Pathologic 2 is a day one launch with console and PC. You only have 12 days to fight a deadly outbreak in a secluded town, and you can't save everyone. Metro Last Light Redux was already available with console and is now available with PC. Perfect for your Metro Marathon with 2033 and Exodus already waiting in the library. Overcooked 2 is now available with console. This indie is perfect for holiday gatherings when you're ready to start yelling. Tom Clancy's The Division is now available with console. As you explore, look out for safe houses to gain fast travel, weapon and equipment vendors, and pick up extra missions. Next week, Xbox Game Pass members can play the Meantastic Untitled Goose Game when it launches with Xbox on December 17th. Congratulations to all the nominees and winners at the Game Awards. Like us, you were probably reminded of the amazing games that have launched this year. If you're ready to grab some of those titles, now is a good time because you can get $5 back for every $50 you spend through December 16th. And you can keep expanding your worlds. 
Check out these exclusive W Hotels custom controllers. US fans should keep on the lookout for W Hotels banner ads on Xbox to enter for a chance to win. That's our show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.